Spartans come off a 42-win season in 13, as we said. They started it strong with 10 consecutive wins. Well, they're pushing toward five as Hannah Alexander sets them up nicely. And you see her whine and deliver the first pitch. She'll fire to Landers, who puts a charge into it. And this one's going to be well out of Surreal Stadium. The Spartans jump on top one to nothing. Dana Landers able to drive a home run out of the deepest part of the ballpark and put the Spartans on top in her junior season a year ago. And she rises the level. And gets Outside corner again, called strike three, and Alexander strikes out the side in the second. That's four straight. Responsible for trying to keep it just a one nothing deficit for the Cavaliers, and here's one just beyond her outstretched arm, back up the circle and into center field. It's going to be station to station. And the A-Sun champs here on there. In their own tournament, this is going to make it a little harder to do so. Chopper over the head of the third baseman. And all three bids were toward third, and it's the third time that's the charm as Landers gets it over the head of Johnson. He is in the hole. Here's a third strike at the knees. It is five consecutive strikeouts for Hannah. Here's a hard hit ball toward short. Trying for the backhand is Mayer, and it will go into left. Mayer unable to make the play as that was a, in a single now. She's aboard again with one out as Griffin slaps one into center. That's a base hit, no question about it. There are two Spartans aboard with one out now, and the table is set again for Settlemeyer. Move up, and the bases remain loaded. Here's Kelly grounding one through the right side and into right field. One run will score. That'll be all. A strong throw in from Velk out there in right. And Lindsey Kelly adds to the run she scored in the second with an RBI knock here in the third. It's Barnes. And the game against Virginia the other day had two big RBIs, and she's going to drop a single in down in the right field area just inside the line, and that'll push Landers down to second base. Yeah, they did a good job with their infield handling some close pays. You see one get gonna away get here, away. Though. Here comes the runner, Landers sliding in, and she'll score a run to go with all those. An RBI for Cheyenne Griffin. And here's a ground ball through the right side, a two-out knock for Madison Kiefer or one out knock, excuse me, from Madison Kiefer. Trying to close it out. Here's the one, two. Called strike three. In the Division I era, Uvari and Miller both had one last year. And here's a throw across that will complete the first for Hannah Alexander. That will do it as the Upstate Spartans defeat the Virginia Cavaliers by a final of eight to nothing. And Hannah Alexander has pitched a five inning no hitter, the first of her career. And she does it against an ACC opponent to write further history as a member of this upstate. On a chilly Sunday, February afternoon, Hannah Alexander, the senior from Lexington, North Carolina, just completed the third perfect game in the university's history. Anna, you guys just wrapped up a pretty impressive tournament run, 5-0 and through the Upstate Spartan Classic, and it ends with your perfect game. Put in perspective how this stacks up with all your other accomplishments in your time here at Upstate. Um, well, this has to be probably the top. Um, thank goodness we have such a great defense because, it, obviously, with only six strikeouts, I have to have them behind me, so thank God we have such a great defense here. Talk about the defense. What is it that sets this team apart? This team led the nation in defense last year, and they played the same way this afternoon. Um, well, they work hard every single day. There's not a day that goes by that they don't work hard. Um, Coach Pack really lays it to them at practice, but it's a good thing he does. We've watched you on a number of occasions get very close to the no-hitter, be right there on the edge of having it, and have it slip right out of your grasp at the end. Today, you were able to finish the job. How does that feel? It's great. It's a it's a great accomplishment. Um, this is the only second perfect game I've ever thrown in my life, so it's it's great. It's a good thing to happen, and like I said, thank God for everybody behind me. And the ceiling for this team moving forward, building on what happened last year? It's going to be a big year. That's all I have to say. <laughs> this is a good start to it. Hannah Alexander, a perfect game against the ACC's Virginia Cavaliers on this Sunday in Spartanburg. Chris Hawkins, Upstate Spartans, runs through the Spartan Classic with a 5-0 record, defeating everybody they faced in this tournament. And, Coach, we'll start with the storyline on this Sunday, and it's the performance that Hannah Alexander just completed out there in the circle. Yeah, being her senior year, she's had probably 10 opportunities to throw a no-hitter, and it's come down to the last out and just something not, not in her favor. So for her to do that today was awesome. I mean, it gave me chill bumps. Uh, she deserves it. Uh, she's been a major force in our program over the last four years, and I couldn't be happier for her. 
Hannah talked herself about the defense behind her, always eager to give credit to this defense. They did play an outstanding game. Yeah, I mean, it's a norm for them. I, You know, if we don't hit, I'm fine. But they got to play defense. They got to put the effort in, and they do it day in and day out, and they take pride in it. And we've sold them on it, and, you know, that's our bread and butter. So, I mean, we might have a bad day every once in a while, but we really lean on the defense. All right, let's put the entirety of this tournament in perspective. You take down an ACC opponent in Virginia twice this weekend. Everybody that came your way, you were able to take care of them. Most of the time, in a quick five-inning contest, you have to be pleased with the way your offense played and the results you ended up with across the first three days of the season. Yeah, they, they are hitting real well. They, you know, the good thing about our team is we have three different style of pitchers, and we've faced all three of them so much. So we've gotten off speed, we've gotten hard, we've gotten rise balls, we've gotten drop balls. So we've prepared ourselves for just about any pitcher that comes. So for them to do that well, it really shows that we were doing what we were supposed to do in preseason because, I mean, they, they are hitting the ball right Right now when you have the type of accomplishments you had last year you wonder how your team's going to respond you see them come pick up right where they left off to start 2014 yeah i mean to repeat conference champions is extremely hard it's extremely hard i mean most of the time you don't see people go back to back and we don't worry about the end result we worry about the process so every game we want to do what we're supposed to do and if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't but we're going to do what we do we can't control anything else well congratulations coach and great work out here on the opening weekend of 2014 thanks sir you can keep up with every pitch of the Upstate Spartan softball season at UpstateSpartans.com.